What up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, the first sample of Back Nine Golf Apparel is here. If you guys like these dope premium tees, custom made from yours truly at Back Nine Golf Apparel, three putt master. This is an extra large, fits me. I'm a pretty big guy. It's very soft. Very breathable, love the cotton. Hit the links down in the description. They'll take you straight to the Teespring account. I've been noticing there's two or three really popular ones on the analytics that I have that a lot of people see, and it's this is one of them. The other one is the Amateur Golf and the Bogeyman Golf. So what I'm thinking, once I get these up and running, which I'll go to in a minute, I'm gonna have these custom made, like a cotton spandex blend or cotton polyester blend. Cause these are nice, but these are print on demand tees. And my profit margins are very small. It's a little, almost, le almost less than half of the $25 is my profit. So I looked into one of the manufacturers, especially one of the, the guys that I'm testing these polos out with, and they have some tees. One, the athletic wear, which I'm definitely gonna get into. It, not too detailed, where you're gonna have cutoffs, tank tops, none of, the, none of that stuff. What I'm looking at is just regular casual cotton tees where you can throw these on with some shorts, flip flops, and head out the door. And also the workout t-shirts, which is like your basic polyester, really thin, really breathable ones you can just hit the gym with. That is probably, as deep as I will get into in the fitness apparel side. The main priority right now is the caps and the polos. I need to get the polo right first. Now this is the first polo design, but the manufacturer messed up because this line right here is supposed to be a very, very light blue, almost like a white color. So it can really pop from the t-shirt. But it's a sample, it's the first one. It's just a ton of back and forth. When I'm asleep, they're awake. So it's a lot of like sending me a bunch of, they send me a bunch of messages. I wake up, I respond to them. Sometimes I'm late at night, 12, one o'clock in the morning, just responding back to the emails. And which is fine, I get it. But I don't know anything about garbage. I don't know anything about these things. So I'm researching, I'm looking things up, and I'm trying to figure out which blend is good for the first batch of polo. First off the bat, it is, it's heavy. It's very heavy, it's, it feels like thick. I mean, it's stretchy, but it's, it's still thick. Like you can feel like there's a thick layer between you and your hands on it. So I get it strict, I guess it's moisture wicking. It's an extra large. Now the manufacturer, I've told them I want them a little bit tapered, but I just, that's all I told them. So you got the, your, your classic fit, your, your average fit, there's like a performance and athletic fit, which is I'm going towards more the athletic fit, and I'm also looking for an extra inch at the bottom. Also, one thing I noticed is the logo. Now there's a logo B9 in the front, and then there's printed logo back nine on the back. There, now this looks nice. The size is nice, it's perfect, it's not too big. But the thing I'm not feeling right off, off the back is the embroidery. Since the lettering B9 is very thin, like it's thin embroidery, I'm thinking this might not be visible from a distance. I Meaning I want the logo on the front to really pop, you know, where people see it and boom, one, they recognize it, or they ask, hey, what is that? And right away I'm looking at B9 and it kind of looks like BG a little bit, you know? But that's something I'm looking into uh, to think about and possibly either changing, figuring out a different style of how I want the back nine or the B9 to look, especially in the front. Because that B9 is also gonna go on the caps. And I'm trying to think if this B9 is very thin, how that 3D embroidery is gonna look in the front of the caps. So I'm kind of, right now I'm kind of writing things down, taking notes and trying to figure out if this is the logo that I want right now. For the polos, let me go ahead and put this on. This one's an extra large. Let me go ahead and show you guys how it fits on me. And you can tell it's a little snug on me, so I might have to go with the double XL. I know this will fit nicer as, as long as I can get the, the fabric blends right, meaning I want this a little lighter weight. Now she does say to get an accurate adjustment of the polos, meaning how they're gonna look, if you wanna sample them right, is to get a medium. But I'm an extra large, and right now I'm thinking in this cut, I might be a double extra large. Going back and forth with the manufacturer and the supplier and hiring a designer. I hired a designer to kind of lay out the tech pack. Cause I didn't even know I needed a tech pack. I did design this on Canva, which is a, right here I'll show you. I just a basic cut. I sent that over to the manufacturer and they're like, what the hell is this? Like, what do you want us to do with this? I told them, all right, well, what do I need? And they're like, main thing we're gonna need is a tech pack. And I was like, what the hell's a tech pack? There I go, Google. Pretty much just the blueprint that's gonna show and align everything for them to design it, meaning the inches from the top to the first line, the inches between the lines, the logo, the size of the logo, 
you know, the back of the garment, like, okay, well, how big is the logo back there? Is it embroidery? Is it imprinting? How long are the sleeves gonna be? You know, how, like everything pretty much to design the polo, that's what the tech pack is, and that's what I needed to get. So I'm like, okay, well, damn, how do I get that? <laughs> So I Googled it and I found out you can hire freelance designers and Adobe illustrators, people that are experienced in this field. And they are, are and you pretty much just hire them on. And what I did is I went on Fiverr.com and I hired them and I asked them questions. I'm like, hey, look, I'm looking to get this design. I send them that, that picture again to them and said, hey, I need a tech pack for this design. They asked me questions, but, and then, cause I didn't know. I don't know what they look like. I didn't know how it's gonna look. I just knew like, okay, I need to get something going. And then from there, I will go ahead and tweak things, which is what I'm doing now. I was like, all right, cool, sounds good. Now I sent that one over to the manufacturer. I said, look, this is the, our tech pack for this design. We want to sample it first, which is what I got now. Now from here, I'll be tweaking to what I want it to fit. So right off the bat on the polos, I'm looking to have this lowered. I don't like how it looks really high. You see how the lines are really high up close to the collar. So remember, I have a bigger chest than the average guy that wears an extra large, so I gotta take that into account. Now I can either extend the placket. <laughs> placket, I learned that. I didn't even know what a placket was. I had to Google all these things that the manufacturers asked me. Hey, what is this, what is that? I'm like, what the hell is he talking about? I went ahead and Googled, figured out what it was, and I answered it. All it is is just guessing at this point. It's just guessing to figure out to get the fit right. So I got the placket, all right. So I'm trying right now, I'm gonna think in, I still want the three button. I don't want this to be four or five buttons. I'm gonna keep it at three, but I'm looking to extend it a little bit longer. See, so you're about right here. And what that does is it's gonna bring these lines a little lower to about right here, if that makes sense. From here to about right here, the lines. You see how they go all the way over here, and I want them dropped about right here. And then the holes in the cuts, so I can get the stitching down for the holes so it, can, it won't be, you see how it's kind of real wided out for me over here? I want them a little, you see how it kind of rides up a little bit? I want that more secure. This one is the performance uh, line tee, performance polo tee. So I want that to be make sure, so when you're swinging, you're moving your arms, the whole centerpiece is not moving with you. Does it make sense? You know, I want that more together. So I'm figuring that out, I'm Googling things, I'm looking it up, uh, and I'm talking to, the manufacturer and getting it down. So right now I got two, another design coming in. I got three more samples coming in. The first one is this one with the correct white piece, but very lightweight, so this one won't feel as thick. I do like the stretchiness, I do like the breathability of it. Also send me in double XL. So that'll give me more of an idea of how the fit looks, because right now it's gonna be a little over exaggerated than your average, average guy. So I need to take the measurements for the double XL to figure out how that looks. And also, I'm looking to design the so two cap styles. So currently right now, so I love this kind of cotton mesh feel with the flex fit in the back. Obviously, because you could tell in my videos, I wore this kind of this cap a lot, and I wear it backwards a lot because I really like the way it looks. So my goal is currently is to get two styles. This one in the front with the logo B9 here in the front, and then I'm gonna have two styles with the flags on it. The Texas flag on the left side, and then the US flag on the left side. The back embroidery is gonna have back nine. Also, sampling another polo with more of a bamboo spandex fit because the manufacturer, when they sent me this sample, she sent me some fabric cards. I didn't even know what a fabric card was. Now, the first one they sent, so she told me, look, since you're up and coming, let me send you some stuff so you can kind of get a feel for what you're looking at and see what you want. So the first one she sent was a 92.8 which is 92% polyester, 8% spandex, which is this feel. As you can tell, it's a little camoed out. It's very stretchy and it is very thin, very thin. This, I love. I love this, I love that feel to it. Right now, I want the performance tee, which is mainly for your golfers out there because it's gonna be moisture wicking, lightweight, breathable, which is gonna have this design on it. The one, the next polo I'm looking at is more of the, the comfort tee. You can wear it uh, to go play golf, but you can also wear it off the golf course. This is the one you throw on, you're gonna go to the bar, hang out with friends, barbecue is your casual polo. And then so the, la the last one I'm also looking at too is the bamboo fabric, which is like this. Now this one is very stretchable as well. So what I told her is let me go ahead and sample in navy blue. I will possibly change the casual polo's color uh, later on, because I don't know at this point how the cut is, how it feels, none of that. So I told him, send me the sample with the logo print in the front and the back, and let me see how that looks. Also with this one, 
with the lighter polyester with the white right here. Now both of these are gonna be in double extra large, more my fit. Also the cap, she sent me, she had an extra cap in inventory. I told her, go ahead and send me so I can see how the embroideries look in both front and back and how the cap would fit. That's what I got going on today, guys. I know it's a long video. I appreciate you guys staying with me. Comment down below if you guys have any questions. If you wanna see more in detail of the sample up close, go ahead and leave them comments down below. It is very nerve wracking. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, cause this is money I'm saving <clears throat> that I'm throwing into getting this started. Um, currently right now, also away from the garment stuff, I'm working on the website, uh, working on the social media, and also I'm looking into another design for the logo. But I'll go into that in another video. Let me know what you think of the design so far. I'd love to know what you guys think of the design. I know this one's gonna be a little tight. Look at that, I'm already a little sweating. That's wicking, moisture wicking. Yeah. Appreciate you guys watching. This I'll see you next time. Peace. We need hope. We need vision. We need faith. But above all, we need each other. We must heal the divides.